so welcome back to the tutorial and in this tutorial we will see how does the post request work <clears throat> but before that i want you to see um how does the status um or a ready state changes in um an ajax call so what we are going to do here is that we will um, put uh, alerts right in between uh, these calls and see what is the ready state so as you have seen before the ready state is uh, it starts from 0 till 4 and 0 is when you have created the xml http object but before you have called the open method so let's put it uh, put a call here and this is after http creation we will see what is the ready state here then we will see what is the ready state right before sorry right after we call the open and before the send method so according uh, to the uh, so as per our expectation um, yeah so as per our expectation the uh, ready state should be one year first this is when after you call the open method but before you call the send method now after you call the send method the ready state changes to uh, blue and uh, when the connection has been established with the browser uh, but before the server has completed the response that is when the request has actually been sent the ready state is 4 and after the request has been completed and we have received the response the ready state is 4 uh, sorry uh, 4 so we, we cannot put it here because uh, whenever this uh, as soon as this uh, http x dot sends uh, hit uh, the control will never go back to this uh, line number 26 it will just keep hitting um, this on ready state change until and unless the complete uh, request or the function has completed so what we will do again we will put uh, same alert here and this will give us change in ready state here we go so whenever the, then there is there will be a change in the ready state this uh, alert will show what is the exactly what exactly is the ready state here so let's uh, refresh the browser and hit the button so see right after the creation of HTTPX object we are getting the ready state as 0 and so yeah so from 0 the ready state has now been changed to 1 this is when uh, our open method is called as soon as the open method is called is already on ready state change method uh, sorry uh, function is called and we hit this it checks if the ready state is 4 and the status is 200 but it is not so it comes out of it and then this is when our uh, our alert will get called this is after open call so again the uh, after this open call our send is going to hit so as soon as the send hits our http extortion method gets called the state uh, changes back to to here sorry that was the one before also because there was a change in uh, there was a small transition so now the state changes back to two and uh, it will keep changing until we have four here so as soon as our, our request is four here we you will see that the values uh, will get um, popped up in this text box this is what so that is how um, the ready state basically works here <clears throat> so uh, now let's we'll, we'll see how does a uh, post request work because what if there, there might be some uh, times when we want to send some data like a query parameter in our request itself for example <clears throat> this is our sublet instead of just typing um, uh, an independent query we will say hi uh, Yeah, this place will have request to get parameter and let's say okay. So instead of just saying hi, this is this is the response for Ajax from my subnet. Let's say hi, Mister. Whatever the name is, and then the complete string. So we need to send uh, the data in the form of this name here, right? So for that, what we need to do, we will have a. Uh, We'll have a post request right now so it's not like you cannot send it from get it will do just like this name is equal to other and if you run this we need to run it again because we have changed the sublet
and if we will see if we do this okay. so instead of just saying um, hi you, we are getting the uh, mr other shows other shows there so i think what, what we did uh, wrong here is that i am getting so of course here we just move it it's okay so this is how we will we'll get uh, some uh, additional query parameters from here also but uh, uh, my agenda here is uh, not to send the data from here because what if you are sending a password or something you can just you can send the username and all those kind, kind, kind of stuff from the query parameter but you don't want to send your passwords in uh, the query parameter so what we'll do is that we'll use post uh, for that purpose and whatever data we might we need to send uh, to our servlet we will send it from here within this so in the same way what before we will say name is equal to publish and if you want to add something else we will do and and um h is equal to there you go but before just sending it directly we need to add something and one more thing here which is uh, called uh, in the set request header we need to uh, define an additional header here so and we give the header name and we give the value so in this case the header name will be content type we need to find what kind of content we are sending in was a uh, send method so this I think that should do this work right okay so I think we are done and now for our request to be accepted here we need to create a do post also because you get you get is not gonna handle it so let's override do post and we'll have the same thing right over here but just to like um, maybe distinguish we will say dot parameter and the name here I think we get the age itself uh yeah so that is it uh, and this should do yeah so let's run it let's see what happens so you can refresh it because we have done some changes in the sublet so do a debug open server finish a big point just to see if the control is coming here or not There you go. Let's hit it, and the control is coming there. It's cool. You can check right over here if the values are coming in this one or not. So if we select it and do a inspect, you will see the oh the value is null here. That's odd. Okay, let's see what's the problem. The name is equal to this, and age is equal to this. Uh, request header i missed a t over here let's write this thing so you got to make sure that the request header is fine and if you run this wrong um you'll see that we are getting the values so uh name is there but the age should be null because we haven't given the age yet if we go here and do um this and one refresh it and check it we should we should get the h2 there you go so that is how we uh, work with the post request you just uh, give the um, method as post you set the proper request header this one and you send what with the parameters you want to send in this area so let's get i'll show you one more thing 